Um, so you mentioned the stem cell trial, and obviously that's what we've covered um, briefly on MS Translate. Can you talk to us a little bit about that project? Yeah, so it, it started about well over 10 years ago, um, and then when I joined the lab, we, um, we really set out with the objective of using stem cells to, um, to repair damage in uh, the brain and spinal cord in MS, and with the, the really lofty goal of not only preventing further damage and further disability, but really reversing established disability. So we, um, we started looking at bone marrow stem cells. Um, the attractive thing about bone marrow stem cells, of course, is that they can be used autologously, so you can use the patient's own stem cells. And uh, within bone marrow, we have different types of stem cells, one in particular called mesenchymal stem cells, which are um, interesting because of their unique pro therapeutic properties in, in terms of tissue damage. So as we started studying uh, mesenchymal stem cells, or MSCs, we were eventually able to convert them into a neural progenitor uh, population of cells, so brain-like cell population. And we call these mesenchymal stem cell-derived neural progenitors, or MSCNPs. And we noticed early on that these cells uh, not only have... Um, uh, repair properties, um, so they secrete a number of growth factors that can influence tissue repair. They also secrete, secrete factors that can modulate the immune response. So one of the um, uh, kind of landmark experiments that we did was in a, uh, an animal model, the EAE animal model of MS, which is well known, um, and we let the mice basically develop disease um, and develop a sort of chronic form of the disease. And then we injected the MSCNP cells uh, intrathecally into the mice, so that's in the spinal fluid, in the space that surrounds the, the brain and spinal cord. And we were able to reverse some of the chronic disability in these mice. Um, and one thing we noticed was that a single injection was not effective. The, the protocol required three injections uh, spaced about a week apart in the mice um, in order to achieve some therapeutic benefit. And so uh, based on the dosing and the dosing regimen in that uh, mouse experiment, we um, were able to, um, after many years, convince the FDA to approve a phase one clinical trial and that is going on now. And uh, 20 patients have so far been treated with their own autologous MSC NPs. Um, they each get uh, a dose of 10 million cells um, and uh, intrathecal injection. And the doses are spaced three months apart. And this is a safety trial. So we're really looking to see if there are any adverse events. Um, which there have not been so far. Um, but what's encouraging is that um, some, some patients are, you know, having some, some benefit um, in various areas, including some um, improvements in motor strength, uh, improvements in bladder function, um, and, and so on. So about 70% of the patients in the trial so far have shown some improvement. Of course, this is not a placebo-controlled trial, but is um, encouraging nonetheless. Yeah, certainly, and, and I think, I mean, we recently just um, featured the fact that you've received FDA approval now to move on to a phase two trial as well for this, right. this treatment. So that's fantastic. So we've, we've gotten the green light from the FDA. At this point, we are in the planning phase, so we're um, planning the trial um, trying to get funding for the trial. Uh, we have started a collaboration with Wild Cornell Medical Center, also here in uh, New York City, to add another site, another clinical site um, for the trial. Um, so it's, we hope in, within the next six months we can uh, have some more definitive timelines for the phase two. Excellent, excellent. 
Um, I guess one of the things, stem cells have been a buzzword in MS research um, and, and across the MS community for really the past 12 to 24 months, um, mostly in terms of HSCT. Um, can you talk a little bit about how, just to help people's understanding how what you're doing differs from, from HSCT? Yeah, that's probably the most frequent question that we get when we talk about this. Um, so HSCT, of course, is um, also a, involves a bone marrow stem cell population. But the purpose of HSCT is really to reboot the immune system. So, um, so it's really getting at the the um, the heart of the autoimmunity and the the, um, the trigger of MS. Um, and it's really intended for um, aggressive um, early disease. What we're focused on is, so first of all, our, our, uh, the stem cells that we derive from the bone marrow is a, it's a different type of stem cell. It's a, a mesenchymal stem cell, not a hematopoietic stem cell. So it doesn't, hematopoietic stem cells form immune cells. Um, mesenchymal stem cells um, form uh cells of the mesenchymal lineage, like bone and fat and cartilage. Um, secondly, we are focused on not um, modulating autoimmunity, but we are focused on repairing uh, central nervous system tissue, so um, remyelinating, um, regeneration of nerves, and, and so on. So it's really intended for uh, more progressive forms of the disease. Okay. So in your trials, um, obviously you're only in the phase one stage at the moment, but in the planning stage for the phase two, um, do you see this as having? Uh, are you just going to be looking at certain subsets of MS, or will you be? Will this be looking at relapsing and remitting, secondary progressive patients? Will anyone be eligible? Well. In the phase one, we uh, we only included progressive patients, but we included patients with a range of disability. So, um, if you're familiar with EDSS, really between 3.5 and 8. Um, so, um, you know, so different ranges of ambulation in the patient uh, in the patient cohort. Um, for the phase two, we will. Um, probably also only include progressive MS patients, but we may include some um, that are sort of a borderline relapsing remitting uh, secondary progressive. So that's still sort of in the uh, planning stages and it will be based on um, the outcomes of the phase one. 